is Cobbett Square. Do you value all human life? More or less. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Anything is possible. And to take the life of a loved one? What a provocative question. I think I could only answer that in the moment. Are you capable of suicide? Sure, but it won't be necessary. What if you were instructed? That would be one hell of an order. Please be cooperative, Miss Hughes. What is your greatest fear? That this interview will never end. Are you afraid of answering questions? No, you can continue. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? This is my normal life. We mean your life outside of work, your attachments, your family. However long is needed. Even years. What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Got me on speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over. Mina! M Mina Hughes! Excuse me, I'm quite busy. I I'm Amy, Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. Oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Zantest. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. Uh, have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Right. I've heard so much about you. It's an honour to meet the legend. Well, this is me. Are you going up? Oh. No. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. See you've met Amy. Is that her name? Promising recruit, one. 
Yeah, put her in the mix and you'll get anyone talking just to get her to shut up. <laughs> She's getting fast-tracked. What? Blasted thing. Fast-tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. Where is she being fast-tracked to? Advanced Dynamics, your section. Great. So I have to look after her, then? No. About bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. Why the special treatment? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. I think this is your stop, Hughes. Sir. Come for a checkup, have you? You know what I'm here for. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. Okay, wrap it up so we can get on with this. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs.
Are you right, babe? Yeah, tired though. Long day. One that you can't wait to end. Oh, my babe saving the world again, is she? You make me sound like a superhero. Well, you could be for all I know. Is there anything I can help with? You could help me take out the recycling. Oh, how about a back rub instead? Now that you can help me with. Dylan upstairs? Mm -mm. I'll let him wait up for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. I'll go say goodnight. Hey, Dylan. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, just reading. How's Grandad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 metre swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 metres, Mum. I got my 200 metre badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? Oh, sorry. You're just getting too fast at getting these badges. It's hard to keep track. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 metres. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. OK, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. OK, but I'd better see this light off when I come back up here at nine. OK?